Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Last week I received an email from someone asking me about Define by Nick Software. Define is the noise reduction application that is included in the Nick Software suite. Unfortunately, I haven't used Define in some time. As many of you know, I've been using Denoise AI by Topaz Labs. I've done several videos on it. So what I thought I'd do in this video is I'll compare Denoise AI versus Define, and we'll see which one is better. I have the same exact image loaded twice in Photoshop. Now we're using Photoshop, and we're going to use both of the applications as Photoshop plugins. For the simple reason, it's just easier to A-B them, to test or to view one versus the other. So we're using them in Photoshop. I mentioned it's the same exact image on this uh, tab. I called it Define, and it's right here. And on this tab, I called the same exact image Denoise. So there's Define, there's Denoise. You can see as I click between them, it's the same exact image. We shot at pretty high ISO, 12,800, so there is a considerable amount of noise. So we'll do this one first. We'll send it into Define. Uh, to do that is a Photoshop plugin. We'll go up to Filter, Nick Collection, Define 2. And then when I click on that, it automatically will open the image up into Define, and Define analyzes the image. Uh, you could see that on the right-hand side, there's a progress bar, and it's doing this kind of um, automatic analyzation. And when it's done, it will show you parts of the image it's sampled to reduce noise. And there are these little squares, and I see five of them off the top of my head. There's one there, one there, one there, one there and a real tiny one there. There's another one there. So it looks to be six uh, squares. Um, let's zoom in and take a look at it. And it's going to take a second to render. So we'll let it render. And then we'll just see what you know how good of a job it did reducing noise. All right, it rendered. And as you could see, um, there's the noise reduced image. I'm going to click the preview button off. There's before. And there's after. So you can see it definitely reduced the noise. Uh, the image is a little blurry uh, just because it smoothed everything out. But we'll take that. Um, now with Define, uh, you can, you know, apply it differently. I kind of just used the automatic measuring it used and everything like that and let it uh, do its thing. But you could come in and you could... Uh, sample different areas by adding a rectangle where you want the rectangle added and it will sample whatever is you know within that rectangle to reduce noise you can go to the reduce button and you could add control points to specific uh, parts of the image and a control point wherever you add it it's going to look at the tone of uh, the color and the texture of the pixels uh, that are in that area and it will then give you two sliders, contrast noise and color noise, and you could manually move those sliders to reduce noise if, um, you know, sometimes that may work better. Now, in this case, like I said, I'm just going to stay with their automatic measurements and I'm going to click OK. So, what I'm trying to say is if I spent the time, I probably could do a better job than its automatic measurements, but you know, for the sake of this video and the time, uh, we're just going to use these automatic measurements. So I'm going to zoom in, hit Command Plus a couple times, hold the space bar in and pull it down. So we're looking at just the head of the woodpecker. And you can see that's with the noise reduced. And there's before. So it definitely reduced the noise. It is a little bit blurry, though. So we'll zoom back out. Now we'll go over to the denoise uh, version of the image. And we're going to send this into denoise. Now you may have noticed with the define image, it added its own layer automatically. Unfortunately, Denoise doesn't do that. It's going to get applied to whatever layer you have active. I don't want to reduce noise on the background layer. I want it on its own layer. So I'm going to hit Command J on my Mac, Control J on a PC to duplicate the layer, and we'll call this layer Denoise. All right, so we're going to apply the noise reduction to that layer. We're going to go up to Filter, Topaz Labs, Denoise AI. As soon as the image opens up into Denoise AI, um, it just loads it zoomed in already. We'll bring it over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an auto adjustment. So we try to get as close to uh, apples to apples comparison between the two applications because I basically used auto for define. So we'll 
Go Auto and we'll click Update. And we'll let it generate a preview and see what it does. And you can see that it, it removed the noise totally in the background and it moved it off just about everywhere on the woodpecker. I would say there's a tiny bit of noise maybe on those red feathers um, in here, just a tiny bit maybe. But anyway, let's just go with those uh, settings. Now again, you could come in here and, and move these sliders, uh, try to remove the noise a little more, add a little more, a little less sharpening, and then click update, see what it looks like and keep doing that. But we'll just go with this and click apply. And now it's going to process the entire image, so this will take a little longer than the preview. But once it is done, it will open back up in Photoshop, and this noise reduction will be applied to that top layer I created that I called Denoise. And then we'll be able to look at before-afters of the image uh, with noise. Here, we'll go zoom in again. And plus, bring it down, like right there. All right, so here's the image zoomed in. There's before with all the noise and then with the noise reduction with all the noise noise reduction now that is denoise ai let's go back over to define and i'll zoom in a couple times and i'll drag it down something like that so it's kind of close so there's the before and after that now between the two this is define and that's denoise and you can see that the noise appears to be um, just, just better, <laughs> you know, for lack of a better term. There's define, and there's denoise. There's define, and there's denoise. So, uh, again, my opinion isn't totally objective. I really do like denoise. I've been using it for some time. I am an affiliate for Topaz Labs. I'm not an affiliate for Nick Software, although I'll have links for everything in the description below the video. Um, Nick Software, there's a lot more to it than just Define. They have uh, several plugins. Um, Viveza is an, uh, one of my favorite plugins. Uh, it's a really, really, uh, to me, it's a great plugin. Uh, but anyway, they do have a fully working 30-day free trial. Uh, so does Topaz Labs. So you could try them both out and your images and see if your results are similar to mine or different. And um, again, all that will be in the description below the video. I'd like to thank uh, the person who emailed me asking me about Define. I really haven't, as I mentioned, used it in some time. And um, I hope this helps you make a decision on what noise reduction software you should be using. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.